film enthusiast here. For today's video, I'm going to be taking you for a skate around the Newtown and Strip area. The main season is just around the corner and you can really feel it in the air that things are starting to get going. This time next week, it will be absolutely nuts. So I'm going to get my skates on in a second and take you for a look around and see how people are preparing for the main season. So first we're going to head round to Uncle Peg's area and then after that we'll be heading down the strip. Next week then is one of the busiest weeks of the year in Benidorm. We've got so much going on it's going to be absolutely manic. Cheltenham starts on Tuesday. We've got the Spanish Fiesta, the Fias, which starts the same week. And of course, we have got St. Patrick's Day. So this part of town, it is absolutely, um, yeah, it's one of the biggest weeks of the year, without a doubt. But we've had a great weekend. Um, for the start of March, it's been very good. Normally this week is very, very quiet because sort of everybody that's coming out at this time of year is coming out for next week. Um, so let's go see what's what's opening up around this area the flash of course is open and there's a few people sitting outside there today soaking up the sun it's nice to feel the sun on my face feel a bit of warmth it's been pretty chilly last week last week um not pretty chilly last week was freezing it was absolutely freezing it really was i'm so glad it's warming up and if you are coming out next week, the weather forecast is looking fantastic. Um, yeah, everybody, all the bars are just sort of getting ready now this week, preparing themselves. Um, a few places that were, that were closed, pretty much everywhere is open now and anywhere that is still closed will be getting open for this weekend. Because, uh, yeah, you, you need a few days warming up before all um, hell breaks loose in Benidorm. Round to the Riviera Hotel, another fantastic uh, sun terrace here. And there's loads of people sitting outside there as well today. And of course, Uncle Ped's. Another big sun terrace on one of the cheapest daytime bars in town. Yeah, plenty of people about for this week. For next week, oh my God, what are we in for? It is going to be absolutely mental. Can't wait. We're going to spin round now and go back and then we're going to head down the strip. <laughs> Onto the strip road then at the Calle Girona and more places have opened up here this week. Waikiki being one of them. That was closed for a little bit of work and they're uh, raring to go now for the season ahead. It is, uh, you, can, you can feel it, it's like nearly, nearly there this last weekend. Um, a fair few more groups in that about. Stag and hen season will be upon us um, before we know it really. But next week, yeah, it's just gonna be crazy around here. So make the most of this time that I'll be able to skate down here um, while I've got room because it's not gonna last much longer. It is gonna go nuts next week. And the weather, for those of you that are wondering that are coming out, the forecast is amazing. It was incredibly cold last week, but this week, 22 degrees today, and it's forecast to hit 26 on Saturday which is unreal for March. We are in for a fantastic uh, 10 days ahead, really. This weekend is the next round of the Six Nations. The weekend after is the final round of the Six Nations with Cheltenham 
Patrick's Day and fires, all that in between. OMG. The Western up next. And there is a few people sitting outside there, enjoying the sun. And coming up next is, of course, the Hotel California Bar. You'll never guess who I've just spotted outside the California bar. You're not going to believe it. It's only the Mac Master. Yeah, he's back in Benidorm. Let's go have a chat with him. What are you doing here? Hey, how are you? Are you all right? I'm all right, love. Are you all right? <laughs> I'm not too bad. Room for one more if you want. Where you is know. he? Where's your mate, Jeff? I've dropped him off for a beer and stuff. So. And nicked his scooter. And nicked his scooter. I figured, right? I figured. I'd reenact my hero, my YouTube hero, who goes around New York on a skateboard with his camera. It's not quite worked out the same because I'm not in New York and I'm not on an electric skateboard, <laughs> but it's kind of the same. You've got wheels, that's the most important thing. And, um, and I've got something to hold on to as well. Yeah. So uh, it's fantastic. These are great, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Should we go get a drink because I'm gasping? Let's go and get a drink. Lee! Hello! What brings you back to Benidorm? Well, it was it was not that mobility scooter, I can tell you that. <laughs> and the weather. I know. I, well, I thought you weren't coming back till summer. I wasn't. It's only been a month. I know I can't stay away. Yeah, You've got the bug, haven't I've you? I've got the Benidorm bug, that's what I've got. Yeah, I like it. Do I say it's better than Tenerife? Controversial. Controversial. Yeah, it's different. It's different. Different, different, different to vibe. Tenerife. Yeah. Then right. what's changed? Well, I've not been here in the last month than anything, or? It's getting a little bit busy. Here, but not we're not quite there yet. Weather's getting better. A little bit again, not quite there yet. <laughs> um, Almost there. So you're gonna have to come back again. Oh well, we'll see. We'll see. When's the best time? I would say May for, May for it to be um, busy, busy, busy. Yeah. And, and hot. And what's the hottest time of the year? August. August. Is that unbearable? It's not pleasant. Is it? A... It's, it's sweaty. Not a dry heat. Though. Sweaty, sweaty, sweaty. No, you need a few beers and that's. that's that's what I have to do. I've done a few beers, I think. No, I'm loving it. It's great. It's good to be back. What have you been filming? Why have you been here? I've been filming uh, some chip shops. I'm doing uh, Raise 3 okay. uh, in a minute, which was... I don't think it's Raise anymore, is it? But it's still got the Still got the there. fish and chips going on. And yeah. still well known for it. Still well known for it. I've done uh, breakfast, you know, I've done Sunday roast, which was amazing, by the way. I'm going to say, probably one of the best Sunday roasts I've ever had. No! Can I say the name? Yeah, of course. Sherry's. Sherry's. Absolutely amazing. Just go down to Sherry's, bombard them. It's not just the Sunday roast, it's the food as well. The pie. Yeah. Oh, the pie's amazing. I love it there. It's fantastic. Great view, great food. So. Where is where is the, the best breakfast you've had? Ooh, what, anywhere in the world or, or here? Anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the world, I would say that's a complicated one. I like, uh, do you know what? We were talking about this. Uh, uh, everywhere I go here is a standard catering sausage. I just want a proper butcher's pork sausage, quality sausage. I don't mind paying extra. You've even been out of the old town and you've still not found sausage, have you? Still not found. <laughs> Easy, Tiger. <laughs> fish and chips, though, here, I have to say. Are you impressed with the fish and chips? Yeah, raise two I went to, raise one and two. Both great, but for me, raise two topped it slightly with the batter. Iris's yeah. batter was just amazing. And but what one experience you've had not so great with fish and chips here? I haven't put that out yet, and I'm waiting until I've gone. <laughs> In case you get chased. In case I get chased, <laughs> chased out of here. It was a nice view. You've got to be honest, way. though. You've got to be honest. I've got to be honest. Maybe it was an off day. You never know. Uh, you know, if they're watching and they want me to go back, I'll give them another go. I'm always, I'm always open to it. I've had that before, where people have said, "Oh, you know, give us another go," and I thought, "All right, mm -hmm. yeah, respect." So I've gone back, and then it's been all right. So maybe, maybe second chance. Maybe they need a second chance. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. 
So what have you got planned then? Well, I'm hoping you're going to give me a pulley down to the other end of the strip now. On my uh, mobility scooter? Well, yeah, it might get me there a bit yeah. quicker. I will say, by the way, uh, it, it is my mate's mobility scooter, right? And he has had a hip replacement. He has, so, he has, he has. Yeah. And he's pretty bad today as well, isn't he? Yeah, he's really bad. I dropped him off and I'm going to go and pick him up in a bit. So uh, otherwise, I wouldn't be whizzing around and what I'd have. You know, an electric skateboard, like Casey and I start, you know, whizzing around. Or some of these. Some of these, yeah. yeah some of them, yeah. Motorised ones. Do they do motorised ones? I would imagine they do now, yeah. Yeah, that's what I need. Mean. Right, we're getting uh, them for the next you can You can counteract and, and make me look cooler on the mobility scooter by you holding on to the back. We'll have right? a go. We'll have a go. Come on then, let's do it. <laughs> okay, come on. Ready? Yeah. So I'm going to be hanging on to the back of uh, Lee on the scooter now and uh, hoping I don't die. Are you ready? And we're going to we'll head down to the other end of the street and see what it's like down there. Go steady, go oh, steady. Are you ready? I think, no, yes, I'll yes, no. So wait for this car. Here we go. Oh my God. Okay. Let's do it, let's do it. go this is quite pleasant isn't it it's nice oh we've got competition here we've got buggies behind us always going the other way the stardust pub just behind me there that's not quite finished yet but they will be opening soon this part of the strip is mainly nightlife so there's not a lot open <laughs> right now the red lion is open they had a refurb, they've closed all the terrace in. You'll see that coming up now. We've got someone coming behind us. We'll let them pass. I could get used to this. This is much easier than actually skating. There we go, main road. There we go. Hang on. Rocky's Bar, another one that's just reopened recently. And the Rose and Crown. But like I say, this is mainly nightlife around here. These bars um, don't get busy during the day until May time. Everywhere will be busy next week. Everywhere will be absolutely crazy next week, but people everywhere. Chelton and races. Yanni, the magic man. Broadway, another one just reopened last week. Well, thank you very much for the chat, Lee, and uh, I'm gonna jump off here and carry on on my little tour. You Thanks for the you. lift, love. Thank you very much for the chat. Thank you, you're welcome. the strip and this is Andy's bar of course busy and loads of people enjoying the sun and getting a bit giddy. Yay! I'm gonna leave it here today because my feet are killing me now crippled from that ride this road is not the smoothest thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe to the channel and also get on the Mac Masters channel as well we'll leave a link in the description below also check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok at the Benidorm Enthusiast. Stay positive and stay safe.